Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, the Becerra family. Uh, this vlog is unfortunately a, a vlog that's kind of more um, intense. It's not like a regular vlog that we did. But I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit what's going on, you know, part of like my life in the background of things. Um, I got my grandpa, uh, you guys probably seen him in a few videos. Um, you know, he's, he's the guy that sings, the old guy that loves to sing. <laughs> And uh, lately, uh, he hasn't been feeling good. Right now, he's in the hospital. We got notified uh, two days ago that my grandpa was hospitalized. He's having trouble breathing. He's having a bunch of like liquids forming in his lungs. And so we had to take like kind of like an emergency trip over here to Mexicali. Uh, that's where he's uh, hospitalized right now. That's where, where he pretty much was raised, born and raised. And uh, things are not looking good right now, you know. Uh, we came, we got here yesterday. Uh, we just we're trying to visit him, and the the nurses aren't letting you know visitors right now. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping that they'll let us in to go see him, because um, you know doctors are saying yeah. that uh, doctors are saying that he's not doing so good, and and uh, it's kind of kind of rough, you know, seeing that you know somebody who you loved, you know, growing up, you know. I don't know how close you guys are to your grandparents, but for me, my grandpa was a big thing, you know, being a kid. He, he used to be the ones that give me like the chicles and the little pesos to go buy snacks, you know, at the candy store or play with us when, when, when you know, parents were too busy. And so, you know, there's a bunch of good memories I have with my grandpa and right now he's not doing so good. And, and kind of like, I wanted to just come by, you know, cause you don't know when the last time is gonna be the last time. You know, the last time I saw my grandpa, my other grandpa from my dad's side, he was, uh, he didn't look too sick, but when, when I saw him, he said that this might be the last time I see him. And literally within a year later, he was dead. You know, like, and I didn't get to see him before he died. And, and that was something that was kind of sad, you know, you know being a young, uh, young adult, you know, being, I think, 18 when he passed away, it kind of, kind of realized, like, you don't know how, how much time somebody has. So when I was notified that my grandpa was sick, I told my wife like, hey, like I think we should go see him because maybe it's not as bad as it may be, it may seem to be based off of what people are telling me. But you know, if he's in a hospital, they didn't let him go back to his house and they're staying, making him stay there overnight, then it's probably a little bit more severe than, than uh, we're getting told it is or that we may think it may not be. So we're staying here at a hotel in Mexicali. We're gonna try to see if they can uh, let us visit him later today. But I do have Noah here. Emma ended up staying with her dad and I got my sister and my father joining us also on this trip. So we're gonna just try to keep it a little positive. Uh, you know, we're gonna try to, try to make it uh, so that Noah doesn't see, you know, a bunch of you know, people being sad about what's going on. Um, so we're gonna go have some breakfast right now. We're gonna try a few spots. We're gonna go see what we can find to eat. In the meantime, my mother is right now with my grandma. They're, they're trying to see if they can get us access to go see my grandpa um, some way, somehow in there. And that's the, that's the hard part, like, you know, being in a different country, like we have different customs over there, you know, in the United States. And my grandpa does have papers, but he decided to be here because this is where more of his family is. And so he wanted to get hospitalized here, which is kind of more difficult for us because we don't understand like the regulations here. We don't understand what their procedures are here. I got Wendy here, she's getting ready. Did this trip? It was a four-hour road trip, and it wasn't very easy being this big anymore. But I'm here to support, you know, my husband and his family, so that's why we're yeah. here. We yesterday got up to 111 degrees. <laughs> 112 degrees. Holy moly! 115. 115. Sheesh. So definitely gonna be hot. Um, we're thinking about having just breakfast and then going maybe to the movies or something or going to the mall. And my grandma was crying yesterday actually. You know, they brought her over because we're staying at a hotel, you know, and uh, they brought my grandma over and she was crying because they weren't letting her see my grandpa. But in the meantime, we're gonna go get breakfast and uh, we'll bring you guys along with us. Any other little update? 
you guys are gonna be notified with us as well. Ya llegamos a comer. We're gonna try out this spot called La Casa de Julia. Ahí está mi suegro y mi cuñada. <laughs> okay, mood. Chilaquiles verdes. No agarro los pancakes and Joseph. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what you get? Healthy. Ah, juegos de la casa, por dieta y ganas de comer. <laughs> and I got a café de olla, but I got a café. It was so good. The place is so cute. Look at this. Super spicy, and I was like, I want it super spicy for the heartburn. <laughs> we just got done eating, and uh, so far there's no update yet with uh, with my grandpa still. So my mom is with my grandma. I'm gonna go right now to the mall because it's like 103 degrees right now. Even though it's cloudy, it's like 103, really hot. And we're gonna go see maybe uh, if there's any available tickets for the Thor movie that just came out. Wanna go to the movies? Yeah. Yeah? So we're gonna head there right now and we'll, we'll see you guys there with us. Venimos al cine. Now you already having your snacks. But you guys, I love the variety of popcorns we have here. Like, girl. We're getting this one that has four flavors. Okay. And? got Takis popcorn and butter. I got four flavors. <laughs> and then Noah wanted some candy. What movie are we watching, Noah? Uh, Thor! Thor! Banana. Oh my god, it's porque me gustan las palomitas de aquí de Mexico. Miren, agarramos cuatro sabores: takis, mantequilla, chetos, y de caramelo. Mm. Let's go! Sí. We wanted the VIP one, but they were sold out, so this is gonna be it, but it's pretty big. So we just finished watching Thor, and it was actually a pretty good movie. Uh, if you've seen the movie Thor, comment Thor down below. Let us know what you thought of that movie. Now uh, we came to some arcade game. This is where Noah came yesterday when we got here. Noah wanted to check it out again, and uh, so they're in here somewhere. Found the... Noah, what are you playing? Hey, you got thrown over there, buddy. Sonic! How many tickets did you get, Noah? You want the Sonic game? the Plaza San Pedro y ayer me hice mis uñas ahí because we wanted to kill time because our hotel check-in no era hasta las tres me hice las uñas and I think they came out so cute I don't know why I didn't focus pero si um, we still have not heard anything my suegra has been over there all day and she hasn't been answering the phone so I don't really know what's going on um, so we went to the movies because it's so hot Ahorita está 112, like, don't ever come to Mexicali in the summer. Do not do it. Hi, mom. Pero, sí, I guess you guys kind of heard, oh, my sword, I finally answered, and they're still not letting anyone go see him, and not even his own wife can go see him, because I guess because she's older and she can't take care of him physically, they don't want her there, because I guess it would be like a liability for the yeah. hospital. I don't know how the hospitals here work, but... But, um, but my mom did say that he's doing better, so that's a good thing. That he's responding to his medicine. And yeah, we're headed back to the hotel, but 
every time I come to Mexicali, I love coming to this coffee shop called Cafecino. I want a Rocachino. Si, sí, agarramos nuestro café y agarré un Rocachino con crema inglandesa. I think it's like Irish cream. And I love getting this because well, even when I go to Guadalajara, you can never find it. But when you go to Chihuahua or Juarez, they do have them and they're so good. You like this coffee too? Oh, huh? yeah. Well, I tried it first time when we were yeah, at a Juarez. It's it was fire, dude. And if that was that bad No, I have to go back. So we decided to come and have dinner here. It's called Grand China Restaurant. Y nos venimos caminando because we're like, oh, it's close by from the hotel. So let's just walk it because pasamos en el carro en la mañana. We're like, oh, we should just come walking. We came walking. Girl, it is 102 still outside. Woo. So yeah, we decided to walk to here and barely walking and we regretted it because it's still so hot. Look at this. So we are walking back. Because Wendy wanted to walk in 102 degree weather oh. with my mom. So, so, ¿qué dijeron de mi grandpa, mom? Que mi tu abuelo no lo podemos ver, pero ya está estable. Ya va a salir primeramente de si todo viene el martes a más tardar. Gracias a Dios. So, ya se está mejorando. Ajá, está mejorando, gracias a Dios que sí. Vamos a mañana para atrás a la casa. Y pues no pudimos visitar a mi abuelo, pero aquí andamos para support. Espero que se mejore y todo, que ya sale del hospital, ¿no? Sí, sí, pues las oraciones que han hecho, gracias, porque están haciendo efecto. Sí, pues, pues ya nos dejamos. Buenas noches, pues, Sarah Family. Y nos vemos a la próxima video. Like and subscribe y nos vemos. Bye. Bye. Bye.